confidence hack number 21. Epiphenomenalism. What? That's a word. And what does it mean? This is confidence through epiphenomenalism. And I'll explain exactly what that means. Hey, I'm David Nurse. I coach NBA players, CEOs, top performers how to hack their confidence. If you want daily boosts of confidence directly to your inbox, go to my website, davidnurse.com. Sign up for free for the daily boost to start your day off on the right confident foot. Okay, let me try to explain this because I sure as heck can't spell this word. Epiphenomenalism is the philosophy when mental states are caused by physical states in the brain, but they actually don't occur. Uh, are you confused? Yeah, I am. But I'll break it down even further. We can all agree that fear makes the heart beat faster, correct? However, fear doesn't actually make the heart beat faster. The biochemical secretions of the brain and adrenaline, not the experience of fear, is what makes the heart beat faster. So it's not fear. Fear doesn't exist. It is the biochemical secretions of the brain in adrenaline that make the heart beat faster. Therefore, what you think is actually happening in your life in a negative stance isn't. I'm confused. Still confused. <laughs> Are you confused? No, really, it's actually pretty simple. The confidence boost comes from knowing that Feeling fear, stress, anxiety is not actually a real thing. It's a figment of our imagination that produces certain chemicals in our body that either increase or decrease heart rate. Feelings aren't real. Yeah, they're real, but they aren't real. The chemicals they produce in our bodies are real. Honestly, this alone has given me a lot of confidence throughout my professional speaking career. I know when I step on stage, the feelings of fear and nerves are not actually what I think they are. They are only chemicals in my body causing my heart to race faster. And knowing that, just knowing that alone, brings me a lot of confidence. So today, when you feel anxiety, fear, or stress creep in, don't you for one second tell me that you don't have those feelings. Lying creates chemicals in your body too. Remind yourself that the feeling that you are feeling is only a chemical in your body. It's not steering the wheel controlling your body. 